morning everyone and welcome to my first vlog it is wednesday the 2nd of may and i really wanted to get into vlogging um but i've kind of got this phobia of doing it in public i feel a bit weird walking down the street talking to a camera so i thought i'd start off easy start at home um it's a wednesday so i'm working and i thought i'd kind of just do like a vlog slash a day in the life of so yeah i've just got ready for work as you would have seen and now you're going to come to work with me <laughs> good morning tig <laughs> hey everyone, so it is lunch time now. I've just come in and prepped mine and my mum's lunch. We both work from home. Um, it's quite a new luxury for me. Um, it's kind of been on and off. My job's changed around. It's a really long story. But yeah, so I've been working from home recently. And yeah, I have our lunch prepped and then I just come in and dish up for me and mum. So I thought I would show you what we've got for lunch today. So we've got... Um, just a roasted vegetable and couscous salad. Literally as the base I've got spinach and baby leaf salad mix. Um, I've roasted some veggies, in fact I have cremated them a little bit but I did just try a few and they're okay. The peppers and tomatoes actually taste better because they're sweeter. Um, it's just the onions gone a little bit bitter but never mind i got distracted by my work and ended up leaving them in for like an extra 20 minutes which is not good but you know we'll make it work um, and then this is just a sun-dried tomato and garlic couscous just one of the little sachets from aldi i've got the packet here um so it's just a really nice easy simple lunch basically and we've got some uh like sweet trilly trilly sweet chili salad dressing so we're gonna put that on top and that's lunch done so i finish work at half two so i will probably be back um to talk to you then i don't you've seen me at work already so i don't really see the point in taking you back to work um for you to just sit and watch me eat food and be at my desk and be on the phone so yeah so i'm gonna eat my lunch finish work and then i will see you soon hello me again so i have finished work now um it is three o'clock um i work part-time um five days a week i've literally only just been doing this so i've been working from home for in my like new job oh let me just get comfy i feel like this is gonna be a long chat it's better so i've been working um from home and doing my new job for like a couple of weeks now sorry i haven't got a tripod or tripod tripod or something to put my camera on so i'm literally holding it with my hand and i don't have a viewfinder that flips up so god know what's this vlog's gonna be like but you know it's my first attempt i'm getting used to it all um but what was I saying? Yeah, so basically I've started this job um, working from home for the past two weeks. Um, so I've decided I wanted to do part-time hours um, because there's several other things that I want to be doing um, and I just don't have the time to do them. So one of them being obviously YouTube. Um, I really, really want to grow my YouTube and make sure I get like really good videos up for you guys. And recently it's just been so manic that um i feel like i've either missed a video or it's ended up being quite rushed and i really don't want to do that i want to upload something that i'm going to be proud of something that's good quality and something that you're going to enjoy i also would like to upload more than once a week which is why i'm giving this vlog a go today because if all goes well 
and I enjoy doing it and hopefully I'll get brave and do it actually out in public a bit more. Um, I'm hoping to kind of do my video and then maybe a vlog um, once a week as well because I really do, I absolutely love doing YouTube so I really want to push that um, and have more time to do it. Um, another thing I'm doing is I've started this thing called Foiled Trilogy. Um, I've got an Instagram page, I will link it down below excuse me and i've also got an etsy shop and it's basically like different handmade gifts and home decor so i've got um makeup brush holders which i absolutely love if i may say so myself um pen pots which doesn't sound very exciting but i'll show you the things i do in a minute and then you can see them and i actually really love those as well um i'm going to be doing soon i have mentioned it a few times on my instagram page but i just haven't got round to actually finishing them yet and getting pictures up but tea coffee sugar sets um i also do jewelry holders and vases and these little like storage pots which can be like for paper clips and stuff or hair bands or bobby pins that's personally what i use them for um and yeah they all have a metallic twist so they've all got either copper silver or gold on them and i think i'm going to start doing rose gold as well um i was going to just stick to copper gold and silver which is why i called it for a trilogy but i think i might do a few like limited edition pieces where i chuck in the odd rose gold thing but the rose gold that I've got is very, very pink. And the copper I've got, I actually really love. I prefer copper to rose gold anyway, I think. But yeah, sorry, I'm like talking at like 100 miles an hour. Um, so having the afternoons off gives me the time to do those as well. Because they're handmade, it is quite time consuming. It takes a lot of time just to make one item. But I really, really love doing it and enjoy like thinking of new designs as well because again you'll see when I show you in a minute um it's not just like a simple makeup brush holder I'll explain more when I show you so yeah there's also another thing honestly I'm a glutton for punishment I mind that I'm busy and have no time and then I just pile all this stuff on me I'm just one of those people I have to always be doing a hundred things at once so I also got this just like a little course on Groupon um for event planning it's just like literally a really basic sort of like starter course but from my previous job we went to networking events and stuff and i really really enjoyed them and i'd never really thought about events before but i love doing things that are creative which really doesn't make sense because i'm actually all my jobs are to do with accounts i'm a part qualified accountant but yeah i like doing um like really creative things and organizing and sorting stuff out so i think um it wasn't until i went to these networking events that i actually started to think oh actually do you know what i'd really love to get involved in events so i thought i'd do a course just so i know a bit more about it and then i could look into it more but i'm about halfway through the course and you get a limited amount of time to do it so i've got until i think the 12th of may to finish the course and take the exam so i get the certificate so that's what i'm going to be focusing on this afternoon i'm going to do a little bit of full trilogy stuff in a minute which i will show you what i get up to um and yeah then i'm gonna to have to get studying because i'm out tonight because i'm going to the pub quiz so again i'll take you along with me and um yeah i just really need to get on with it basically <laughs> so I'm going to show you my full trilogy stuff. So this here, for example, I actually use this because I, oh, I just sat on my shoe. Um, really, really loved it. This is like the first one I did. I was just kind of, sorry, excuse the terrible angles. I'm trying to move stuff at the same time. But um, yeah, so I um, was just kind of playing around with designs and this one I actually ended up really really loving and I've kept it myself I mean obviously I'm, I've got more to make so if anyone wants to order them I can just make another one but I loved it so much I had to keep it so this is the this is the makeup brush holder that I do so this is what I mean by like it's not just a simple holder obviously these are jars I have to paint them pop the labels on spray these and also the um the drips this is the bit i really love because this is the bit that takes longer i have to be patient and let it dry and all that sort of stuff so that's just all for one jar so 
As you can see, it is pretty time consuming, but I really, really love it, if I may say so myself. This is also a few of the other items I do. So these are like the vases um, with like little metallic wooden laser cut charms these are so cute i really love these and i've got them in like a dream catcher style or with a love charm on the other thing i do are these little glass jewelry dishes um i've got one in the other room which i'm going to show you again in a minute these are the little holders that i use for um like bobby pins or my hairbands and stuff this is just like a set that i've taken pictures of and whatnot um little penguins on the top they're so cute look and this one's got a little baby how sweet so yeah they're um i actually really really love these and they are just like such handy little jars to store yeah annoying things like hair bands and whatnot but i'm also doing other animals so as you can see here like i've got a little silver gorilla that i've got to put on a jar i'm gonna again be doing them in the three colors available so i've got a little copper rhino and so on i need to catch up on those because i haven't done many of those these are the bigger jaws jaws jars that i'm going to be turning into tea coffee sugar sets and then these are the smaller jars that i turned into a brush holder so you can like see the size difference between those two obviously one is upside down at the moment but you can see the different sizes um then out here let me show you oh i think i just zoomed in on my face yeah so out here i've got um that's the jewelry dish i was talking about oh a bit of fluff yeah so this is the little jewelry tray again available in the three colors this is my cup of tea because i know i'm about to get to work these are my other makeup brush holders you don't have to have the drips i also sell them plain without the drips and you can basically choose any color combination so you can have a gray black or white jar and you can have a silver gold or copper drip lid and writing on it basically and that works exactly the same for the pen pots except from i only offer those in copper at the moment but i'm just because i really loved the copper writing um, that i used on the pen pots but i might see if i can get them in silver and gold as well if they um are popular and become in high demand but i kind of think copper is everyone's favorite color at the moment so i might just stick with those for now and then see but yeah so this is a gray and silver one with the drips this is the black and silver one with the drips and this is the copper and gray which is my favorite i think then oh there's so many to show you i've got this is my pen pot so do you see it's completely different um like font on the pens because i wanted to make it so guys and girls are gonna want the pen pots again you don't have to have the drips i actually don't have these on my etsy shop with the drips um i just did them plain if you go to my instagram you'll see pictures um and i really love them just plain however um someone ordered them from me and they wanted the drips from my makeup brush style on the pen pot so i was like sure because at the end of the day i want to basically create whatever my customers want so if they say oh i really love this but i want it in blue or i want it in a nice yellow or whatever i will try my best to do whatever they want so if they see oh i love the drips on the makeup brush holder but i want it on a pen pot then i'm gonna do it so enough waffling i also can personalize these so um they're my initials but it wasn't for me i promise um yeah so you can person oh well i tend to personalize them on the back but you don't have to again i have the option where you just like pay an extra pound i think for personalization or two pounds i can't remember um if you did want it and if not it just comes plain and again you pick your colors this pink one is a new jar i haven't listed it on my etsy shop yet but i may well have done by the time i've uploaded this video um if not it will be coming soon i just really wanted to do something pink because i think it'll look really cute and i think pink and copper and pink and gold look really good so that's the main reason i got this nice candy pink i've got a few more jars here that i have sprayed but i'm yet to do something with and that's what i'm going to be sorting out now before i get to studying so i think i have waffled on for enough and i've actually ran out of breath and i talked about 100 miles an hour so i'm very sorry about that i thought god this vlog's gonna have absolutely no content and it's only going to be about five minutes long but i think i just chewed your ears off for a good half an hour so 
I'm gonna enjoy editing this, Sammy from the future. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I'll get on with my stuff. I'll show you what I've done and then, um, yeah, I'll chat to you in a bit. So I've just done a few of my makeup brush holders, the pink ones I showed you earlier. I'm just gonna show you what I've done to them so far. So this is, I've done gold and pink and then copper and pink. I actually think I prefer the gold and pink um, to the copper. Oh, I do love these though. Apologies for that horrendous noise, by the way. That is my washer dryer spinning my washing. So that was really bad timing. And um, basically what I'm gonna do with these now is I'm gonna um, shoot them ready for my Instagram. So I've got to take pictures of those two and the um, pen pot, pink pen pot I showed you earlier. And then that's all I'm gonna have time to do on full trilogy today because I really need to get on with my studying. So yes, again, I will speak to you in a bit. So I'm just popping to the post office quickly. I just need to post something for Foil Trilogy. Um, and I'm gonna attempt to balance you there while I drive. So, you know, if you suddenly go sliding, I'm sorry, but I don't have you strapped in. You're just uh, sat on my dashboard at the moment. I'll try not to do any sudden braking. or go around any roundabouts. Oh, we have gone already as soon as we've moved. Uh, I don't think uh, you're gonna be staying there for long, guys, but you are coming on a trip with me in spirit. I just got back from the post office and I sent off my item. Whilst I was there, I was a bit hungry. Dangerous to go somewhere with sweets and crisps and stuff when you're hungry. But I picked up these tangy toms. Does anyone from the UK remember these from your childhood? Oh my God, me and my friend Zoe were literally obsessed with them. They were a much smaller bag, probably about half the size in like a metallic orange color. And it was 10p a bag. Now it's a bigger bag and it's 30p, but they literally taste the exact same. Oh my, I literally think I had a pack almost every day when I was younger and my mum didn't realize I went to the shops and bought loads of sweets and crap but yeah um, me and my friend Zoe were absolutely obsessed with them so if you remember these let me know also can I just say what a blooming miserable day so doom and gloom I'm not happy about this it was lovely and sunny yesterday and now it's blooming horrible however bank holiday weekend is meant to be sunny so fingers crossed it is because that would be amazing and very rare for a bank holiday but you know England might pull through hey guys so change of plan I'm not actually going to the pub quiz tonight now um, unfortunately my friend isn't feeling very well and I've got so much studying to do that she actually did me a favor <laughs> um, so yeah and it saves us the embarrassment of getting no points again because we did it last week and we came last and it was awful i mean to be fair we were the smallest team because there was only two of us and it was our first time doing it but you know 16 points out of 60 is not good but yeah so i've been studying i'm just gonna have a little break um probably watch a bit of gossip girl because i am obsessed with it um even though it's kind of like crappy teenage drama but i can't seem to stop watching it so yeah i'm into that at the moment and then I'm probably gonna cook dinner in a minute, so I'll show you what I'm doing for dinner. And yeah, that's about it really. The weather has actually got a bit nicer now and I'm so happy I'm gonna show you. Look how sunny it is. Yay, and clear sky. Earlier it was raining and was miserable, but it seems okay now. And I've got a cute little sleepy doggy on my bed who needs a haircut because we can't actually see her face. <laughs> Bless her. Oh, she's a very good companion for all this studying. But yeah, she's so cute. But yeah, um, so I'll talk to you again when I'm going to be cooking my dinner, show you what I'm having and 
I'll speak to you in a bit. Oh, so I completely forgot to show you what I had for dinner. I was so hungry. I literally just dished it up straight away and ate it. And then I thought after, oh, yeah, I didn't show him what I had. But I did this like, um, I was going to do stir fry and then... I got confused and forgot I didn't have noodles so I kind of improvised and did this like what should I call it prawn stir fry risotto weird I know never done it before but it actually ended up being really nice um but yeah it's like nine o'clock at night now and we're gonna take the dog for a walk so I'm gonna bring you guys with me It is now half ten. Um, I've been out and walked the dog and we ended up walking to the shop and I got a Snickers bar, which is not good. But I've been craving it for about five days, so I just had to get it out of my system. But yeah, I'm talking quietly because my mum's in bed. But yeah, um, I'm basically going to take my makeup off and go to bed now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you would smash that thumbs up button because... Um, if it goes down well then I'll do more vlogs. I'm gonna try and do yeah like more videos and vlogging and stuff and hopefully I'll get more used to it and get braver and do vlogging outdoors. <laughs> but yeah so I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you soon. Night!